Hey guys, Jason Noblet here, and I'm just relaxing this evening, drinking a beer for strong bones. Look it up, that's actually a scientific fact that beer does contain some. <clears throat> there are some, some things in beer that can increase bone strength. You just need to do a Google search on that, and you'll find the articles on it. Alright, so beyond that, I was wanting to talk about something a little bit more important, and that's the recent decision by Jurgen Klinsmann and his coaching staff to leave Landon Donovan off the national team roster for the World Cup in Brazil. Alright, so this is very, very controversial because Frankly, Landon Donovan is almost the face of U.S. soccer, and he has been for a very long time. He's very arguably been our best player in at least the past two World Cups, maybe even all the way back to 2002. He's the all-time lead goal scorer, and he's a brilliant soccer player. There's nothing else to it. Now, him being left off the roster, it is a bit of a surprise to me. I am, frankly, a bit shocked. That being said, there was, there are many factors that happened that have caused him to be left off the roster. He decided to take a break from soccer during important qualifiers, which didn't go over well with Klinsmann, and then he decided he wanted to come back to the team and rightfully so Klinsman didn't just thrust him right into the lineup he basically said he'd have to earn his spot on to the team which apparently in Klinsman's eyes he did not earn his spot on the team for the World Cup so many many people are saying that this is just a dreadful mistake from Klinsman and he will regret it now I want to remind people something. Athletes come and go. You, many people become attached to a certain star player and they cannot imagine life without that player because they are so important to the team at that, at that time. Well, that's not the case. Athletes come and go. They're will be a new hero for the USA national team. And that might be this World Cup that someone steps in and fills, fills Donovan's shoes. Basically, as a fan, we need to support Klinsman and the entire US national team as this is a team sport. It's not individual. One person has very minimal impact in reality as it is a team sport. And we just cannot dwell on this alone. Donovan is just like any other star athlete in sports. I mean, Michael Jordan's come and gone. Many other. Zidane has come and gone. Pele, Maradona. And frankly, the only thing that remains the same is that the game still goes on and the teams still play the game. There's nothing we can do about it. Donovan's time with the national team might be over. What we need to remember for Landon Donovan is what a great player he was for the United States national team. He's He has to go down in the top five players all time for the United States national team. And he has a very good case for being that best player ever. And his time, it might be over. After the World Cup, that might change, but for now, I think it's likely that he is not going to be part of the national team anymore, and it's now time for someone else. And after that, I still think the United States have a fairly good chance of performing in Brazil. We do have a very difficult group, but it's the World Cup. If you want to be able to be successful in a World Cup, you have to beat the best. 
being in the group of death should not be an excuse. We should still be looking to get out of the group stages in, as our minimal goals. Now, that means getting past two teams, which include Germany, Portugal, and Ghana, and that's going to be no easy task, but we have to believe we can do it, and we have to believe we can do it with the team we are sending to Brazil. We cannot look for excuses. Donovan not being there is not going to be an excuse, and it cannot be an excuse. All right, so basically that's all I wanted to say on the issue. Leave comments below, like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.